everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Mookie I'm so glad that you decided to click on my video and watch it today um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, so today we are going to be talking about how to feel pretty so if you're and this is this video is for the people that aren't very um, confident in the way they look they have low self-esteem um, and there's nothing wrong with these things or people that are just trying to upgrade their look and trying to just move to the next level with their look and, um, you know, just present something different into the world that you're not used to presenting. So I'm just going to provide a few tips that have worked for me and hopefully these got, these will work for you as well. Let me know in the comments down below what you are going to try out, especially with the new year. Um, being like right here <laughs> so let me know if you decide to try some of these tips out and if they actually work for you let me know down in the comments okay the first thing that you need to do is inner work the inner work is going to be um, healing from your past traumas um, and this can be done through shadow work and talk therapy. I've done both. Talk therapy did work for me. It helped me open my eyes. It made me become more self-aware. So I definitely recommend trying out talk therapy. Um, I've been seeing a lot of ads for BetterHelp. No, this is not sponsored. But I have been seeing a lot of things with BetterHelp. Um, it seems like they are really focused on making therapy more convenient for, you know, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Like I said, it's not sponsored. I haven't tried BetterHelp, but um, that is just something I see a lot on social media and hearing people talk that they use BetterHelp because it's so convenient. Um, so talk therapy would definitely help you heal from your past traumas. Um, and a lot of how we move through life has to do with our childhood traumas. I noticed that I had... Um, bad attachment styles due to my childhood trauma that I had to work through in order to get past it. And all of these things that you're going to do, like when you're doing your inner work, it's not going to be walk in the park. Um, it's not going to be, oh, next week it's gonna be done. Like it, these things do take time. Just stick with it. Um, delayed gratification is definitely something that you're gonna get from this. Um, just stick with it trust me it's going to be worth it and like i said it helped me become more self-aware and then as i became more self-aware i started to gain confidence just just like that and so i that is the first thing that you need to do like if you're not self-aware and if you are not doing your inner work you're going to be moving the same as you were before so the things that you do on the outside to make yourself pretty you want to do that same for the inside as well because who wants to be around a pretty person who has yucky insides? Like, no. We need to do the work on both inside and out. And trust me, when you do that inner work, it's going to make you glow. It's going to make you look different. Your energy is going to be better. Your aura is going to be better. People are going to be want to be around you. You attract better things. And then you just overall become more attractive. So doing the inner work is definitely what you want to focus on when you are trying to become more pretty. And then you want to connect to your feminine energy. And... Um, I love TikTok for this because I have found, I wasn't really aware of what feminine energy was. There's going to be, what there's light feminine energy and there's dark feminine energy. And I had to get in touch with both of these. And shadow work helped me, shadow work, doing shadow work helped me get in touch with my dark feminine energy. And that was a really fun time in my life. Getting in touch with my dark feminine energy just made me feel more sexual and it was just fun. I got in touch, being in touch with your dark feminine energy is going to put you in that mysterious, like, who is that girl? Like, once you get in touch with your feminine energy and see which one works for you, light or dark, then I promise you, you're going to be like that much more confident in who you are. And all of these things that I'm providing with you, like I said, these are things that I have done that have worked for me and I've seen um, results from these things. Each one is like taking a step, taking a step to you know your higher self and I absolutely love that about this this like makes being prettier and being confident like that journey that self-love journey just so much better like you're actually seeing these results in real time so yeah after you connect to your fat you're going to want to connect to your feminine energy um and things that I've done to connect to my feminine energy is dancing in the mirror 
like just at home dancing in the mirror, just getting more comfortable with my body, moving my body because I was just really uncomfortable with like dancing in front of people and just, you know, moving my body. But I was really, I was always comfortable with like, you know, dressing and looking nice. I always knew I had a nice body, but I just wasn't comfortable and confident with moving it. So dancing at home, dancing in front of a mirror, seeing how my body moves and things like that, it helped me get in touch with my feminine energy. And then um, also getting in touch with your feminine energy and how how much you're in your masculine energy. So um, masculine energy can look like hyper independency and that's a trauma response as well but it can look like hyper um independency like you're just eager to do everything all by yourself you don't need a man and being in your feminine energy is like being the passenger princess in your life like yes you're in control but you don't have to worry about anything like just sit back and relax you're a princess like just getting your feminine energy just relax <laughs> but also be nurturing and caring that um also has to do with being in your feminine energy as well and then the third thing that helped me with everything just overall just being a better person and i want to say i want to add that when you you cannot change by just changing one of two things like when i say this you cannot just change your behavior and not your mindset you have to change your behavior and then you will change your mindset because if you change your mindset and say hey i want to stop doing x y and z but you're still doing x y and z you're not really changing anything so you want to change your behavior first and the way i did this is I had to be more disciplined with going to the gym. I had to stop drinking alcohol. And after that, it was just like smooth selling. Like I literally, my mindset, like I've always knew like what I wanted, but my mindset just automatically made that switch. Like once you change your behavior, your mindset that you want to be in to, you know, evolve to your higher self, to get closer to your higher self, it's automatically going to switch to that because you're like, I'm acting how I want to act now. I'm acting like my high, I'm acting in a way my higher self would be happy to see. So my mindset is automatically going to switch, if that makes sense. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is start listening to affirmations. And one good thing, because I heard it that it gets to your subconscious a lot better when you say your affirmations yourself. So, um, a lot of affirmations that I find on YouTube or TikTok, you can, they allow you time to like say the affirmations again. But what I like to do is take it a step further. I go on my phone, I pull out the, I pull up the app voice recorder and say my affirmations. And if you have a second device, that makes it a lot easier. Or you can write it down, write down the affirmations you want, and then you just replay your, your voice saying those affirmations it's golden it's it's up in a stock okay <laughs> so um some affirmations that i recommend um lucky girl affirmations um dark feminine energy after dark feminine energy affirmations um boss girl affirmations these are just going to put you in that that higher frequency mindset and you're just gonna feel like that girl as soon as you're done with these affirmations and i like doing these before bedtime because i go to sleep with that on my mind and it just puts me in a better mood and then once you're in a better mood your energy is better you're more attractive you're glowing and then what you're going to do next after you've done your inner work your affirmations and going and in, getting into your feminine energy you want to confirm what attractiveness means to you and everybody has their own beauty standards and we all know that the society as one has a set in um, one set beauty standard and people have to try to you know live up to it and that's okay like whatever works for you works for you but whatever sometimes what works for somebody else doesn't work for the other person so you want to determine what beauty means to you um, if that means getting your hair done, straightening your hair, doing whatever, do that. Because that's what attractiveness and beauty means to you. So whatever it means to you, do that and own it, okay? Because you can't try to look like somebody else and 
and be like, okay, that's it. This is what pretty means to me. No, it has to work for you. It can't just be, oh, let me go on Instagram and see what I want to look like today. No, it has to actually mean beauty to you because it's not going to come if it's if it's not resonating with you it's not going to come across as genuine to other people so you want to make sure that you determine what attractiveness means to you first and I would suggest writing it down wow. write down what your higher self looks like just close your eyes sit down and, and envision what your higher self looks like what the future you looks like write it down after you envision it and then strive for that and the next thing after you determine what attractiveness means to you is start dressing up. Who cares if you're going to be overdressed? Dress up. I'm telling you, when you go into a room, and if you're an introvert and don't like all eyes on you, like, it, you're not going to die. I promise. I hope not. <laughs> but just dress up. Wherever you're going, dress up, okay? And... You just want to look your best no matter where you go. Start start small. Start off, start, off, start off by dressing up in the house. Doing your makeup in the house. Just looking nice for you. And then once you're, you know, comfortable, more comfortable with dressing up, putting on heels, doing your makeup, making sure your hair looks nice, go out and just dress up. Even if you're going to the grocery store, dress up. I promise you, you're going to feel like a million bucks. Because everybody else is in sweats and hair not done and just looking regular. And there's nothing wrong with that. But dress up. I'm telling you, chef's kiss, like, it's going to elevate your confidence. And then also, when you leave the house, when you're leaving the house, you want to make sure that you're not, you want to have, make sure you have one of three things, at least one of three things done. Your hair your makeup, or your outfit. If all three of those things are not done, all three, you want to go back in the house and do something. Do your hair, put on some lashes, or or change your outfit. Fix your clothes. You should not leave the, leave the house with all three of those things not done. Well, one of the three things not done. Another thing that's going to help you feel more pretty is just being present in the moment just being there and this comes with being self-aware and just making sure you're actually your mind is there along with your body like you can be in one place and your mind is completely somewhere else and when you become aware of your mind not being where you're at you can easily shift your focus back to where your present is so um just make sure you're present but, um, and like I said, this is not gonna, all these changes are not gonna be a walk in the park. Like they are gonna take some time and adjustment, time to, you know, adjust to these behaviors. But once you notice that you're doing these things, just go ahead and shift your focus as soon as you notice. And it's gonna take some time. But once, once you become more aware of what you're doing and not being present in, you know, your moment and your atmosphere, then just shift your focus. It's not always going to be easy for everybody. But once you're aware of it and you, you know, just change your behavior as soon as you become aware, it's going to get easier and easier each time. Um, when you are out, you want to be more approachable. People are not going to want to approach you if you do not look and feel approachable. And this has a lot to do with your energy. Like, you can look nice and people with resting bitch face do get approached. But your energy is like, if you're like closed off, arms crossed, mad looking, I mean like, if you have resting bitch face, that's fine. Like people still get approached with having resting bitch face. But if you're closed off, your energy, your body language, your energy is saying, I don't want people to talk to me. Guess what? Nobody's going to talk to you. Nobody's going to approach you. You want to make sure that your energy resonates, that your energy is showing, is exuding approachable. You want to be, you want to come off as approachable. And this is going to elevate your look and make you feel more pretty and make you appear more pretty. The last thing that I want to talk about, um, you want to make sure that you are not speaking to yourself badly. And this goes back into being present. It's, it coincides with being present. Um, you Once you become aware of what you're saying about yourself to yourself, whether it's a thought or you're saying it under your breath, 
like oh I'm stupid oh I look ugly oh I'm this and that and you're just saying this things to yourself I wasn't aware of how much I was saying these things to myself like oh stupid like I just made a mistake like why am I talking about myself that way and then I didn't realize how much I was doing it until I actually paid attention to my thoughts and paid attention to what I was letting come out of my mouth and I was like it's not okay that I'm talking that way to myself. So once I became aware, each time I became aware of that thought, because I, I, nine times out of 10, I wasn't saying it out loud, I was just thinking it. Um, so once you become aware of that thought, stop it in its tracks, stop it in its tracks. And each time you do it, you'll become more used to stopping yourself and eventually you will stop, you will stop talking badly about yourself. And that will elevate your self-esteem because you're not calling yourself stupid, calling yourself ugly because you you're subconsciously you believe that you're not those things once you stop saying those things but subconsciously when you are saying those things you're going to believe it so and then that's just going to bring your energy down your aura down and your looks are going to suffer so these are the things that i am sharing with you that helped me become me to feel more pretty confident and have my self-esteem rise so let me know down in the comments below if you're going to try any of these things that i went over or if you want to add anything for you know the fellow your fellow viewers thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video it's a shorter video but this is these are just uh things that i wanted to share with you guys in hopes that it helps somebody out there that needs you know tips and tricks on how to feel more pretty so again thanks for watching i will talk to you guys in my next video bye it's not that i don't want you here